Thank you everyone for joining my uh, webcast today. I wanted to put a quick webcast uh, uh, today because uh, uh, we start sending a lot of links to people to download the community version and we got swamped with uh, how do I load the licensing file. So uh, this is uh, a quick webcast. Uh, let me start back again. My name is Adele Eden. I'm a director of development and in, in, uh, the interim CTO. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to uh, do a quick walk uh, on how you can actually load the uh, licensing file. Uh, the licensing file we ship you uh, or we send you an email is an honest to god DLL. It's not a, a text file that has numbers or anything. We actually do uh, include in that DLL. We compile specific DLL with your email, uh, your um, gateway credentials and so forth uh, before we send it out to you. And we don't, and one question we got is uh, a lot of people we send them the link they gave it to some other people in their in their company or in their pharmacy or in their uh, clinic and they couldn't actually download it and the reason for that is we don't really put our uh, application in the public uh, app stores uh, for example on Microsoft we're part of the NPR uh, it's called the Microsoft Partners uh, website so that's where you download it from that's where the link we send you uh, we actually incur some costs by adding users to that site so that's why if you send us an email with your uh, Gmail or Hotmail account we really don't pay attention to those. You, we really have to associate an honest to god domain with a DLL or the license file you give us. Now if you don't have a domain and you really are using Gmail or uh, you know a Microsoft Azure account and you're just uh, logging in with your public uh, or Facebook accounts or whatever you're doing then you have to physically call us and we will actually do an exception for you uh, but uh, again uh, just keep in mind that our license file is not an honest it, it is an honest to God DLL that you actually have to save somewhere on your local drive and be able to load it so let's say uh, now you don't need to load the licensing file for neither the DB server or the admin server if you're using the community version okay but if you're using the paid version you really have to upload that license file or a different license file depending on how we configure it for you to the admin servers or server depending on how you configure it but for now I'm just gonna do it for one tool which is the administration configurator now you, the same thing applies to uh, the POS the time track uh, any of our tools the doorbuster any of our tools so I just downloaded uh, uh, the community version and I'm gonna actually my tool here is the paid version but I'm gonna point to uh, a community version of DB server and admin server uh, I have two uh, the scenario here is I have one uh, admin server running here in Toronto I got another one running in Charlotte so uh, I'm gonna point to the one in Charlotte so you can actually uh, see that it doesn't make any difference where you configure the uh, admin server and if you've seen any of my previous uh, webcast uh, I talked in general about uh, how, uh, what are the different components, what you need to bring up, what you don't bring up, and so forth. Uh, real quickly here, once you start the admin configurator, uh, you get this uh, red uh, warning on top says there's no license file. Uh, and if I actually tried to, uh, let me point it to Charlotte first, CLT, WKS02, and that's not running on... Uh, uh, we actually have, if you're, if you're just using community version with IS Express, that's the default link uh, port. Uh, this is the default port for IS uh, because it's a uh, HTTPS uh, so if you're interested in configuring and bypassing the security and so forth we allowed all that to happen to uh, I'll put webcasts for that but for now I'm just gonna use this one tool uh, our admin configurator we will I uh, will have webcasts for almost any all and every other tool we have so with that being said I'm, I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show show you how you can validate and see the content of that licensing DLL that we give you so uh, how do you you know we send an email you saved it to C temp I, I, I save them here to a different directory but the first thing you'll do is you click on this little wrench on the top right hand corner and this applies across the board you'll see that wrench everywhere uh, it's our flyout. Uh, it's where, if you're on a specific screen, you may see some specific things that you configure. Like if you don't like a theme or something like that, you can change them depending on where you are on the screen. So let me go full screen here, uh, and I'm going to scroll, and, and I'll have a webcast that discuss each and every one of these. Uh, if you if you recall a second ago, I said uh, uh, if you're on the community version, you don't have to upload the licensing file to the uh, admin or the configuration server. But if you're on the P 
paid version, you do have to do it. We do give you uh, all our tools we'll have in some of the flyouts, this uh, upload license file. Uh, in this case, we're not uploading anything. We're actually importing a licensing file to a tool. You'll do the same thing. You'll find import on all our tools. You're importing the licensing file. Uh, before I import it, I want to validate it. I want to see if everything is correct. So I'm going to click on this validate. And by the way, validate does not import it. I have my licensing, and I'm using a generic training license here. But the community version we ship, uh, the licensing file will be called, whatever we send you will be called, the file name will be called licensing file company X dot DLL. It's not going to be my greatest pharmacy or my greatest clinic or you know uh, the name of your company it will be actually called licensing file company X dot DLL uh, so I'm gonna validate this file and this file is gonna be and, and uh, as you can see this is uh, our training so here you'll have your company name physical company name this is the data you send us in the email uh, I'm giving we are giving five seats here uh, for one lane and one site uh, you can actually see the dates. You can change them. It's not going to affect the DLL anyway. Uh, but you'll get the license key, and this is attached to your email. Uh, that's why uh, you call us for every admin server you put in or every additional tool. We are giving you a grace period of 15 days. That only applies to the paid version uh, since this is a community license and it's good for until 2099. If you've seen any of my previous uh, webcasts, uh, for the community version, we give you free for 100 years. Uh, and you can download it as many times as you want. If you put new versions, you just download new versions. You don't have to upload the, you don't have to load the, uh, the licensing file again. Uh, the only thing we ask for the freebie is uh, to go with one of our uh, gateways. So that's why you would call us. If you're going to run PMS integration, which PMS you want to use, if you're going to run it against your health services or if you have a, an internal medical uh, solution or revenue cycle management, uh, you'll actually give us this. This is actually Care. Care is what's used here in Canada, so or one of the ones used here. Uh, so uh, this is configured for Epic PMS. Uh, and the master patient record is going to come from care. Uh, so as you can see, uh, this is actually what the validation file would look like. I'm going to close it. I have not imported the file yet. If I try to actually go and hit our uh, uh, the admin server in Charlotte right now, uh, I'm going to get this uh, nasty looking dialog box as contact us. But since you've already contacted us, got file. Now you need to import it. Uh, you don't actually have to do the validation, but if you want to make sure that, for example, you did sign up with the right gateway, and you want to see the gateway again, you want to make sure that the, uh, you know, we gave you a license file with the correct gateway. Uh, you can look into the validator there before you can load it. Uh, it doesn't mean that you cannot, you know, even if we give you the wrong one, you can always get a new one from us and, and reload it. Uh, now I'm going to import it. Of course, it just keeps telling you, hey. I uh, don't have a license file. Why did you click on save? Uh, what what the save does, and the reason we call it save is every time you install any of our tools, it actually creates something a loc file, which is an encrypted file that has portion of the license file, has uh, how many seats, and it actually sends it to the admin server, so the admin server can maintain who's connected what for security purposes, how to unencrypt because each station will encrypt data differently based on their key, and the server have to know how to unencrypt it. So now I'm just going to import uh, the licensing file. Uh, now I'm physically bringing the licensing file in. Once I do that, you see that red stuff gone away. And um, if I click on save, actually one of the things, uh, I talked about the loc file, and that loc file actually gets saved into this location. So if I actually go into that location right now, If I can see it, uh, what showed up on my other screen, let me bring it into this screen. You'll see there's nothing here. Uh, there's no loc file because I just downloaded it. I'm installing it, running it for the first time. And that's what we call the init file or the loc file. This is where uh, the portion of the stuff goes in. So, and that's what this button does. But for now, I'm going to save it and it's going to create the loc file. And uh, once I click on it, it, it does some data synchronization. Uh, it will actually communicate with a admin server says hey uh, here's my uh, license file here's how I, you encrypt and we do a couple of things uh, that are important uh, to know uh, if you're an administrator uh, and that is we actually uh, maintain and let me show you two good links that you may actually if you're interested in learning more about this um, of course now I'm um, 
um, physically got into the tool, uh, it created that lock file. And if I actually go back in here, God, I have so many things open. You'll see it created that lock file for you, which is an encrypted file, and then it has a bunch of uh, lookup tables. Nothing secure here. Uh, it's just stuff like the state, a list of occupations, types, uh, car types, brands. Uh, nothing, nothing that requires security. So it actually did that sync. So this instant does not have to keep hitting the server. And we do have a push pull model, depending on how you configure it on the community version. It's always a pull when you first log in on the paid version, they actually communicate. So if the admin server gets a new setting, for example, for a new brand, it will push it to every connected uh, client. So uh, at this point, uh, I got through created the location file and I can log in uh, with a password, of course, uh, I have to have a corporation uh, during the set, uh, configuration of the admin you would actually create a corporation but uh, I'm gonna log in at this point and once I log in it's just telling me that hey you're trying to use admin again why do you want to do that but you can continue moving on and again you will get into uh, the admin configurator at this point um, so that's all I wanted to cover again this is a quick webcast I will have a webcast uh, with the same content exactly how to do it on every tool we have uh, for example mids to beds the door buster uh, the mail out solution the kiosk and so forth so um, uh, that's about it thank you very much for attending my webcast uh, have a wonderful day